Go High Level just released AI phone callers where you can take inbound calls with AI 24-7, 365. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a brief tutorial of the feature and how to set one up inside of your sub account. So if you're brand new to Go High Level, there is a link below to get a free trial if you're interested in testing the software out. And if you decide to partner with me, you get all of my snapshots and courses, as well as a community where I do weekly calls and cover anything that you guys have questions about. So once you sign up for High Level, you go into your sub account, you're gonna go back here and click on your settings, and you are gonna click on AI Agents. And I will delete this one here just so it doesn't overlap. But basically, we are gonna click on Create Agent and this will start the process of creating our AI agent, and then I'll go over the prompt and how all that stuff works. So the first thing here is just to name the agent. I like naming all of my AI Jackie, so I'm gonna call this one Jackie. The business name is the name that's associated with the sub account, and so I'm just gonna call this uh, ABC Cash Offers because I work with real estate investors and I help them find off-market deals. So the most practical use case for me would be helping clients, uh, you know, make more offers with their leads and me using this for, you know, my business, my Quinn Nolan business, where I help people with high level and build agencies and stuff. So for now, I'm just going to do ABC cash offers. And now here we have multiple voices to select from. So I'll just play a few here and we can see which one sounds good. The eye sees only what the mind is prepared to comprehend. All right. So to me, that one's a little too AI. E. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. That one sounds pretty good in terms of like sounding real. The greatest part of our happiness depends on our dispositions, not our circumstances. Okay, that one won't work for. The world is round, and the place which may seem like the end may also be the beginning. So you guys get the, the point. Is round, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. So I'm going to go with Mark just for this one, just because it, it sounded like real to me. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. So I'm curious to see how that works. In general, I would probably most likely use a woman's voice just because. Um, I find that, that people are a little more receptive to that, but we'll use this for the example. Now we have the direction, right? So direction meaning is this an inbound call or soon to be an outbound call where you could potentially make calls to new leads that just fill out their form, your form on your website or things like that, right? An inbound call would mean that somebody is calling you. So the way to kind of um, utilize this right now would be if you put calls to action in your marketing, you can put, you know, to call that number. Obviously, I would really test it thoroughly to make sure it's doing everything accurately um, before you just go and tell everyone to call it, right, with real live customers. But for now, this is going to pick up all incoming calls. So this should mean that if you make a call to somebody and then they do not answer and they call you back, that this uh, AI agent will answer the phone, okay? So that's the direction that we have right now. Now we have the agent's initial message. So basically once we call this actual, um, you know, system number here it's going to say you know whatever's written here so i'm just going to leave this right here and click next now here we have the agent goals so what details do we want to collect from the con uh, the contact the name email address and then the contacts issue or the problem so since i'm a little bit more advanced with this uh you know these types of uh systems i'm going to go to switch to advanced mode and this is going to show me the back end prompt that is already um, written in here and so the basic the most basic way to understand a prompt if you're new to this is just these are the instructions that the AI is designed to follow. That's how I would describe it. So technically, you can you know, look through this and um, you know, like see if there's things that you like here and then add your own um, prompt in here or you can do what I'm gonna do which is just delete it entirely um, and just see how the bot actually interacts which is um, you know, a straightforward kind of conversation. Um, and then I already have prompt templates that I've used with ChatGPT that can be translated into this. It's virtually the same thing. Um, or like I said, you can just test with something super simple. So I'm gonna keep it very simple. So I'm gonna just say, you are Jackie. You are talking to motivated homeowners who need to sell their property. Cause that's who I, like those are my clients as investors. So these are the types of people that they are interacting with, which is why I would plug in a system like this to help them um, you know, get more leads and get more offers out to these homeowners in an efficient way by not chasing down homeowners on phone calls, right? Manually at least. So um, I'm just gonna say, um, please collect the following answers, or excuse me, please collect the answers to the following questions. Now this isn't a prompt I would deploy. This is just to test it and see, um, you know, can we get to the meat of the prompt? Um, 
by just writing something very direct versus giving it a ton of different instruction that isn't needed to test, right? Because I really want to see the core of the AI itself and just see how it works. So I'm going to say the complete address of the property they would like an offer on and then their asking price for the property, their reason for selling the property, the time frame they need to sell the house by. Okay, so in a real like legitimate prompt, you would give it more context, like the company that it's working for and really you know, the context of how the lead is uh, interacting with the business. Maybe they filled out a form, whatever, whatever. But like I said, the goal of this video is just to walk you through what you can do to start testing it and seeing how it works in real time um, without designing a whole new prompt. So um, we're gonna just leave that as is. So here's the other benefit of you know, go high level creating this. So we have different actions here. So we would define, and I can do a complete in-depth video, I most likely will, on you know, how to do all of these things. But like I said, this literally just came out, so I wanna show you guys how to access it you know, right now. Um, but basically we have these different actions here. So we have a call transfer. So this would transfer a call to, let's say for example, the AI is communicating with a homeowner. If I define here um, like a specific action, right? And I define a call transfer, as like they've answered all of the qualifying questions, for example, then I could transfer that to my client. So then while the AI is on the phone with the lead, the lead answers all the questions and then it now calls my client, right? That would be a call transfer. Then we have trigger a workflow. So we would you know, define what should be uh, required to trigger a workflow, but maybe you have a workflow that texts your client and emails your client and then texts the lead that says, hey, we are transferring you to this representative, right, as an example. Um, so you would define what would trigger a workflow, and then within the workflow, you would choose the actual, you know, action name, and then you choose the actual, um, you know, workflow itself, right? Same thing with the action name. You would just put the number that you want to transfer it to, all that good stuff, okay? So those are those two actions. Then updating a contact field, let's just say you ask for the address, for example, um, then you would just put in the property address from the, uh, you know, that the AI collected, right? And then you can also do a send SMS. So maybe part of your uh, phone call uh, like script is basically after you've booked an appointment, um, we will send you a text confirming, right? And so you would put that information there. So like I said, I can go through that in a completely different video where I break down all of it, but I wanna just show you guys how this thing works, okay? So last few settings before we go live is trigger a workflow when call is completed. I don't need that for now. I do want to receive an email notification post call completion because I'm just curious what that will do. And I will just send this to um, a custom email so that it will email me, um, you know, I can put my email in here and it will email me. Um, I just want to see what it emails me. So I'm going to click next and then we can, there is an upgrade that's required for the unlimited. Um, so I'm not quite sure if that's if they are going to just require a subscription for this feature entirely or if it will be able to be charged per minute per usage which would be ideal um, so i have yet to get full details on the pricing but for now if i save this i can actually test this out so if i go into this uh, agent name um, now we can actually call this and um, let's see what happens so i'm going to put in this number here which is one of my go high level numbers and that should call me directly and so I'm going to take this off my phone. All right. So I'm going to click call me. And so remember, the context here is this would be for this use case. This is an inbound call, but it is going to call me because that's how you test it. So the idea here would be for my particular client or your client or your business is if a customer right is attempting to get a hold of your business, maybe they have questions about your product or your services, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe they're calling and you want to get them booked on a legitimate call. There's multiple use cases. Most of the time it's going to be customer support, appointment booking, and then like commonly asked questions. Those are probably going to be um, the main use cases depending on how well it works and your business, maybe you could have it conduct your qualifying calls, which would be, you know, the intention of me using this is we get leads from Facebook ads. We get those sellers, people that need to sell their home um, on the phone. And then instead of my client, you know, running through all these questions, ideally the AI would do it and the homeowner would be okay with it. Right. But I've yet to test that. So we'll have to see. So for now, 
it's going to call me and it's going to act as an investment company trying to make me an offer on my property. So that's the goal of what it should be doing based on the prompt that we just made. So I'm going to click call me and it should call me right now. So here we go. Here we go. So there will be like a this call will be recorded message because I have that on a high level, but let's listen after that. Hello? Hey there, I'm here. How can I assist you today? Uh, I want an offer. Great, I can help with that. Could you please share the complete address of the property you'd like an offer on? Yes, 123 ABC Street in Los Angeles, California. Thanks for that. And what's your asking price for the property? I'd prefer if you guys made me an offer. Got it. We can definitely work on that. Could you share why you're looking to sell the property? I inherited this property, actually. I see, that makes sense. What's your time frame for selling the house? Are you looking to sell quickly or do you have some flexibility? It's going to depend on the offer, but ideally I'm selling as fast as possible. Understood. I'll make sure to pass that along. Let me connect you with someone who can help finalize the offer. Hang tight for a moment. Oh, I'm not sure what it's doing. <laughs> Did I connect that? No Yo, what are you doing, dude? Hey, just making sure I have all the info to get you the best offer. Anything else you'd like to add? No, that's it. You said you were going to transfer me to somebody, though, so I wasn't... Oh, that's my bad. No problem at all. I'll go ahead and connect you now. Just a moment. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Call me back later. Call me back later. <laughs> okay. So that's just a real-life test, right? I can fix those things. The reason that it decided to transfer me was because I uh, had that action there, so that's my fault. Um, you can kind of see here the actual how it was trying to transfer me, so it would have done that. Um, just right off the bat, what I notice, um, it doesn't interrupt. Like it had a nice amount of space between me saying something and it saying something, so that was solid. It actually was better than I thought it would be. Um, here we can see the transcript here as well. Um, there's no recording because I don't think I have the recording on this uh, phone number enabled. Um, the user here's a summary. The user wanted an offer on a property they inherited. Cool. So it does. It is even aware that it didn't transfer. So let me re. Uh, let me call again without that in the prompt and um, just see what happens from there. And there's now that I'm seeing it live. There's so much that can be done with this. Like, um, yeah, there's a lot that can be done here. So let's just call it again and run through it. All right. So. All right. Here we go. So this should not attempt to make a transfer. It actually doesn't really even know what to do next because I didn't define it. I really just wanted to test the tech. So a lot of people get confused with how this stuff works. It really comes down to the prompt. So we can change the whole thing with a better prompt. Here we go. From new breed investor, let me just... Hello? Hey there, I'm here. How can I assist you with your property today? Um, I don't know. You called me. I was trying to get an offer. Got it. Let's get started on that offer. Could you please share the complete address of the property you're looking to sell? Yeah, 123 ABC Street, Los Angeles, California. Thanks. And what price are you hoping to get for the property? Uh, I, I'll wait till you guys make an offer. That's totally fine. Could you share why you're looking to sell the property? Um, I am relocating. I don't want to be in Los Angeles anymore. Got it. Relocating can be a big change. What's your time frame for selling the house? Are you looking to sell quickly or do you have some flexibility? I have flexibility, but I would like to sell it as fast as possible. Sell it sooner rather than later, right? That makes sense. Thanks for sharing all that info. We'll work on getting you a great offer. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Nope, that's it. Thank you. All right, so it's obviously not going to be perfect. It hung up. It didn't say goodbye, but like I said, that can be changed through the prompt. So check out the new feature. Like I said, it's in your settings here. Go to AI agents and you can follow along. And um, if you guys are interested, like I said, in high level, you can click below and get a free trial using my link. And I will see you in the next video. Let me know what you guys think on this feature. Bye-bye.